what's going on guys, it's PixelPlay215 here, and today, um, right before this video starts, um, I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer, I'm nowhere associated with the mod, or the mod creators, I did not make it, I just think it is very interesting, and I want to show you guys how to use it, so if anything happens to the mod, please know it is not my fault, like I said, I'm nowhere near associated with the mod, or any of the creators, if you need any further assistance using the mod, click the link down in the description below and it will, sorry, yeah, click the link down in the description below. It will bring you to a support server for the mod. There are the mod creators. Go to hashtag support and I'll see you guys there. Or I won't see you guys there because it's not my mod, but hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Okay, now with that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use the mod. So, what you guys want to do is go to, uh, click the link down in the description below to join this server right here. What you want to do, um, like I said, this is not my server. Um, I just think this mod is cool, so I just want to show you guys how to actually use it. Basically, what this mod does, it has prop hunt, it has custom, or sorry, not custom, but it has um, different skins for Among Us. You guys will see, it's actually really cool. So what you guys want to do, is you guys want to go to rules, you guys want to verify. Um, I don't know which arrow it is, it says the gray arrow, so I clicked that one. But there's also three, uh, two other arrows, sorry, three other arrows. So, yeah, I got confused. So what you guys want to do is go to Among Us Mod Download for PC. They also have it for Android, but I'm not using an Android, I'm using PC. So basically, the features is prop hunt. Light wooden floor theme, player models as mini crewmates, Sonic, Henry. You have chain to skill.net, so you can actually, um, so while you are actually doing prop hunt, the skill.net, I'm guessing, so you can um, hide your, oh, uh, what you call it? So you can actually hide your name while you're actually hiding. So what you want to do is click on this media fire link right here. Okay, it will bring you to this media fire. I already have it installed, but I'm going to reinstall it. Wait for this .zip file to finish. Um, I'm actually going to cancel it and show you guys what it actually has in store. So what it has is this. Okay, it's a um, zip file. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry, a zip file. So it's gonna have the editor, and it's gonna have some tools. So click Extract All. Click Extract. To close out that one. Wait for all this to extract. There you go. I have it on my desktop, um, just for like easy storage right here. Um, just for some easy access. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click on the editor. Okay, it's going to bring up this command prompt. So what I'm going to do is, um, if I want prop hunt mode, I'm going to click 1, I'm going to click enter. It's going to extract the files. Now it should automatically find your, um, your game. If it does not, like if it asks for your game, like if you downloaded it to a uh, certain um, area, go to your Steam, okay, go to your library, go to Among Us. Okay, go to manage, go to browse local files, um, to wherever you downloaded it to, control C, and paste it right into here. And then press any key to continue once it says that it is applied. I'm just going to click the space bar. Now that that prop hunt mode is downloaded, I'm going to click L. It could be lowercase or uppercase, doesn't really matter. I'm going to click L, I'm going to click enter. It is going to automatically launch Among Us. Now, you have to do it from the editor for these mods to work. If you don't, um, it's not going to work. Uh, let me just allow access. Okay, so I'm going to create a game, a local game. So as you guys can see, I'm a hat. Um, I'm just gonna go here, colors. Colors doesn't really matter, uh, considering you won't have anything it's going to have all of all pets 
if you go to hat, as you guys can see, I can literally be this, a storage thing. Now I think with the skill dot now you can do slash hide names or something like that. I forget um, how to do it, but there should be a way to hide your name. Actually, let me go back here. Um, so, oh yeah, so here, um, it's got custom map themes. Oh no, sorry, that's a different version. This is the newer version. Um, so yeah, uh, so there's that. You also have, so it's all in the hats section, um, nowhere else, just the hats. So then you got the computer. Okay, so now it could be a computer. Um, here, let me click this. Go back to hat. Basically, I could be Charles's headset if I wanted to. Uh, like, <clears throat> oh, let's see. So, like, obviously they have, like, sands. <laughs> they have sands, um, like, you could be, like, the button. Like, this button right here. Um, it'll, like, change the direction depending on which way you are. So there's Prop Hunt, um, I'm gonna have to look into how to change your name, um, to, how to hide your name. I'm pretty sure it's the skill.net, so let me click space, uh, click S, click enter, and enter, so click L, to launch up Among Us, um, I'll be right back, hold on guys. Alright, sorry about that guys, I'm back, I just had to do something, okay, so, uh, create game. Alright, so now as you can see, I am a button. Now actually, if I were to go, um, here, let me leave the game. I'm actually going to go online, create a game. Well, hold on. So as you can see right here, I'm on, um, skill.net m2. So then I could go here, confirm. Alright, so if I want to, like, play online with my friends, obviously now I'm a button. Alright, here we go. So, as you can see, here's the server. So, I'm going to do slash help, right? Uh, let's use slash hide names. Oops, sorry, slash hide names true. Alright, now if you see, um, once I actually start up a lobby, or sorry, once I start up a game, um, I should be able, my name should be hidden. Now, actually, if I leave and start up another one, I'm pretty sure my name might be hidden. If not, it might only work. Alright, so it looks like it only works, um, with something else. Okay, so if I do slash help, I can do slash hide name, uh, true. Oop, I saw true wrong. Slash hide names true all right then we also have slash imposters um i probably spelled imposters wrong didn't i yeah but yeah so they have um different uh game modes so slash game mode so they have clones sorry standard clones crazy colors twins Vent Teleporter, Zombies, so they have a whole bunch of different game modes. So that works only for the skill.net, and then obviously I also have the Prop Hunt on. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to click any key to continue. So I usually just hit the space bar. If I click R, that's going to remove all of the mods so I could actually play original Among Us again. If I want the light wooden map floor, I'm going to click on 2. Let that do its thing. It's going to write all the mods and stuff. Perfect. Let me launch that up just to show you guys what that is. This one I've actually not tried out yet. So, yeah, I've actually not tried out the light wood floor. So, I'm just going to go local. Actually, I'm going to go to free play uh, on the skilled. Okay, so yeah, that uh, definitely worked. So the floor is just a uh, light, it's just like a light wood, as you guys can see. Obviously very low resolution because they have to actually like, make it work. 
Um, I don't know what I am right now. Oh, uh, probably because I don't have the prop hunt enabled. But, yeah, so the only way to actually get these mods to work is to launch Among Us from the actual editor, not from Steam. If you launch it from Steam, it will not work. So I'm going to exit. Okay, I'm going to revert back to the original. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go to option three. And for Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm just going to click one. Let it extract all the files. Alright. Uh, success. Success. So now it's just going to do all of this. Player model has been changed. Go to L. Let this load up properly. Um, so yeah, like I kept saying, if you launch it from Steam, it will not work. It will only work when you actually launch it from here. But as you guys can see now, you have all of the Sonics right there. I'm going to go local. I'm going to create a game. As you can see, I am now Sonic. And I'm walking up, down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the computer. I can change to pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, pink, black, brown, cyan, green, purple, white, all of those colors. So obviously the original one is uh, Blue Sonic. Um, so yeah, they have that. Um, hats do not work. Pets still work, so I can do that. I could actually have a pet. Um, they also have... Oh, hold on. Oops. Um, pets. So it actually comes with every single pet for you guys. Uh, the game... Uh, change it. Obviously, you guys know what that does if you've played Among Us. Um, now, you, like I said, you have to have Among Us actually installed on your computer. I'm just going to quickly revert back to the original. Uh, go back to 3. Let's go for the mini crewmate, which is 2. Let it extract all the files. Let's do its thing. Alright, success. And then I should say player model has been changed. Launch it back up. Um, and then you should be a mini crewmate when you walk up. Or sorry, when you load up. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going to create a game. But as you guys can see, I'm now a mini crewmate. Uh, with a mini crewmate pet. Oh, this is cool. Um, so yeah, so this is basically... Um, the different mods that it has. The last mod I want to show you guys is the, um, Henry Stickman. And then obviously R is to revert back to the original, and then you could actually launch it back up from Steam. So your game won't be changed at all. So I'm just gonna launch up to the Henry Stickman. Um, it should show up on the, uh, actual, like, loading screen. I'm not too sure. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go local, create game. So, there it is. I'm actually going to go to color white for the original Henry Stickman. Pet, none. And I'm actually going to leave the game. Go to free play the skilled. Alright, and then, right now I'm like very slow. What I can do is go to be imposter. And then, obviously you have like all the imposter stuff. So, that's basically uh, how you become Henry Stickman, Sonic, and all of them in uh, this game. So now, obviously we have that. You could kill, report, do whatever. Um, this is just in a... Um, this is just in a, uh, what you call it, a, uh, free play. So, look, like, actually, hold on. There's one thing I want to try real quick. I'm going to leave. I'm going to exit. All right, let's, uh, do that. Let's reset the game. Revert back to the original. Let's go for the prop hunt mode. All right, let that do its thing. And then, 
Oh yeah, also guys, I do have another tutorial on its way. I still have to record it. Um, on how to spoof on Pokemon Go. Luna just jumped on my bed. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go to, uh, local, create game. So, okay, so I'm still this thing, okay. I'm going to go to leave game, back, free play, this guild. Alright, I'm actually going to go, uh, right here. Now, I don't know, is this gonna... Oh, so look, everyone is one of them. Is a, uh... Okay, so that's cool. So every single one is a crate. Um, obviously because they were in free play. People think it's me. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let me just proceed. I actually just want to find some of the uh, NPCs and see if they actually change to a box. Um, obviously when you guys do play Prop Hunt, there are no skips. Okay. So you have to actually like find the sweet spot to actually fit through doors. So as you guys saw, um, I get stuck a little bit. I want to find, um, oh yeah look, there's a dummy right there. Haha, <laughs> hello. Um, and then yeah, so once you, um, you're online, you have to be the, the host. Um, for a lobby and then you could actually do all the commands like hide game and then it's got all the game modes and stuff So that is how you play prop hunt um, Prop hunt mode you got the light wooden floor custom player switch to skill.net so obviously you could do prop hunt and the skill.net server um, to actually do that and then um, reset, press A key to continue, close that, and obviously you can launch, um, back up to Steam, just go Steam, launch back up Among Us, and it should work properly. Um, like I said, I am not the owner of this mod, I know we're associated with the mod creators, or the mod itself, I'm not being paid to tell you guys about this mod. I find it really interesting, so obviously if I go here, go to this field. Obviously, as you guys can see, we are all back to normal. And nothing is wrong with the game. So, yeah, like I said, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please smash that like button. Comment down below what I should do in the next video. Obviously, like I said, I already have a tutorial on how to... Um, spoof on Pokemon Go. Um, I'm currently editing a um, Among Us video for. Um, see, I'm editing an Among Us video that is going to take a while because I'm trying out edits that I've never tried before, such as motion tracking. I'm going to try to add some, uh, like a fast forward effect. I'm going to try to make my own fast forward effect to put on some fast forward noises. Just basically stuff like that. So, I'm trying out new things I've never done before. And, yeah. So, th like I said, that's going to do it for this video. Um, c please consider subscribing. I'm currently at, where am I? 91 or 92 subscribers right now. Actually, I can check that real quick. Let me go to my server. Go to general. Dollar sign profile. I am at... 91 subscribers, okay. As you guys can see here, YouTube subscribers, 91. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace!